Go to Google and search for FFMPEG. From the results, select FFMPEG.org. Click on download. FFMPEG is an open source and you can download its source code by clicking on download source code. But if you want to use the software, then you will need to download the executable files. For Windows, hover your mouse over the Windows icon. Executable files are compiled by two different developers. So click on Windows builds from geon.dev. This would then take you to geon.dev website. Scroll down a bit. There are two versions. One is Essentials and the other is Full. Click on the Full version. This would then download the zip file. Go to your Downloads folder. Right click on the downloaded zipped file and then select Extract All. And then click on Extract. This would then automatically open the extracted folder. Rename the folder by removing all the extra letters so that it would be just FFMPEG. This would then make it easier to run executable commands. Cut this folder, go to your C drive, and paste there. This will create an easier pot for the execution. Right click on start and then select run. Type sysdm.cpl and then enter. This would then take you to the system properties. Go to the advanced tab, select environmental variables under the system variables. Scroll down until you find pot, select it, and then click on edit. Now, if you would go to your C drive and open the FFMPEG folder, you should see another folder called bin. And inside that folder, we got the applications. That is why we would need to create a new environmental variable with a port towards the bin folder. So click on new and then type C colon backslash FFMPEG backslash bin and then click on OK. Click on OK again and one more time to close system properties. Now, in order to test FFMPEG, click on start and type command. Under the best match, you should see command prompt and then select run as administrator. Type FFMPEG space hyphen version and then enter. If you get a message like this and it shows you the FFMPEG version, then it means you have successfully installed FFMPEG. Watch my other videos to learn how to use FFMPEG. And if this video was helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe to support my channel.